Hey guys, this is Rosti and today I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome and quite easy to build redstone shop which will give the customer one item for any amount of items you set. In this example I have it set up so that for each four diamonds I throw in I get one emerald block in return. So as you can see I can throw all the four diamonds at once and get an emerald block or throw them one by one and as you can see it won't give me anything until I throw in the last diamond. Or I can even very easily change the price to 3 diamonds per 1 emerald block and then when I throw in 12 diamonds the system is smart and will give me 4 emerald blocks in return. You want to start this build off by digging a 6x3 hole in the ground and extending that to be 5 blocks deep in total. Then on one of the sides of the hole you chose to be the front of your shop. Place two hoppers going sideways in the direction of the back of the shop. Under the first hopper place a chest and under the second one place another hopper facing into the chest. I will move everything into the air so that you can better see what I'm doing. Place down a comparator reading from the top hopper and from that place two redstone dust going down. Then down one block a redstone repeater pointing into a block with a torch on its side. Under the block two redstone dust going down and from those two repeaters. Next place a sticky piston with a block that is next to the repeater. Behind that two droppers facing into each other. From those two redstone comparators going into two blocks with torches on them that have blocks with redstone dust on top of them going into a comparator and a repeater. Now place two diagonal blocks above the piston with redstone dust on them. A sticky piston with a block in front of the comparator. Then a repeater on two ticks going from the bottom redstone dust, going into a block that has a torch on top of it, going into another block with a torch on its side, into a block with some redstone dust, which powers a block that has a repeater next to it, that points into a block which then powers a dropper on its side. This will be your output dropper. Now put a redstone lamp under the dropper so that it's on top of the hopper. Next to that a block with a comparator on top of it going into another block. Behind that a redstone dust and under the block in between of those place a repeater so that it can later power the lamp. Then you want to put the item you want to sell into the dropper and you should see the redstone lamp light up signaling that there still are some items left to be sold. You can even add a hopper and a chest on top for some extra storage if you're for example selling non-stackable items. And a very simple optional addition is this redstone torch with two redstone dust pointing into a block which will stop people from buying anything when there is nothing to buy. Now grab the item you want people to buy for and 21 of any renamed items it is best to rename these items something completely random and put these into the hopper under the lamp so that the payment item is in the first slot. Now go to the bottom two droppers and into the one next to the piston. Put however many items you want your sold item to cost. This doesn't have to be the payment item, it is there just to symbolize the number. So here I've got it so that for four diamonds I will get one emerald block. And now you can test this system, so if I throw in 16 diamonds, I will get 4 emerald blocks in return. Just a note, when you're building the floor of your shop, don't forget to place a slab or a stair on this block so that you don't cut the wire. And now for a quick explanation of this system, you have this hopper with exactly 22 items in it. And this item filter system so that when 23 items are in this hopper the hopper below will unpower and suck exactly one item from the first slot and place it into the chest. However when that one item passes through the system 
it also goes through and powers one of the droppers down below, which shoots one of its items into the other one. This system above gets activated, which generates a zero tick pulse so you can't even see it, that gives out the sold item to the buyer and also powers the piston down below so that next time the other dropper will get power, which basically makes it reset very fast so that it can keep up with the hopper speed and you can throw in multiple items and get multiple items back, like the 1644 I've just shown you. And that's it for this redstone shop design. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.